JOATD back with another one. All right, guys, this is JOATD back with another video. Um, today's video is going to be on how to test a battery. Here in front of you, we have two BMW batteries. Uh, this one on my right right here is a two. A 2023 battery the one on my left is a older uh, 2015 battery we're going to be using this Topton uh, battery tester it's the BT 200 model now we already have the positively connected to the positive side of the battery the next thing you need to do is connect the negatively to the negative side of the battery the Topton um, battery tester should turn on and it'll come to the main screen the first selection in the main screen should be battery test okay you're going to press enter the next screen should be battery type there are multiple different types of batteries today's battery we're working on is a AGM battery so you're going to select AGM and hit enter after that you have select standard your battery standards depends on the area where you live um, I'm here in the United States and our battery standard is CCA cold cranking amps but in different areas of the world your standards for your batteries may be something totally different uh, if you take a look in the manual I'm showing here um, it shows you the different standards for the different areas where you live. So like I said earlier, CCA is cold cranking amps. That's the standard for America. You're gonna view the top of your battery, look for CCA. Mine says CCA is 850. You're gonna hit enter. Um, you're gonna select the rate. Um, it's already set to 850 CCA on the battery. It says 850 CCA. You're gonna hit enter. Here it's gonna perform a test. After the test is finished, it will display the test results. Here we can see that the battery has good charging. But as you notice, the health is 38 and the cold cranking amps is 522. That's not good. This battery is rated at 850 cold cranking amps. So technically it's only pushing out 522 cold cranking amps. The charge is only 3%, which means the battery is not accepting the charge from the alternator. The internal resistance is 4.75 ohms, which is a pretty good number for ohms. You just don't want the ohms to be in the double digits. All right, so we're finished with this battery and we're gonna go ahead and go over to the newer battery. We're gonna do a full test on it so that you can see the difference between the two. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is make sure that you have the um, positive lead on the positive terminal and the negative lead connects to the negative terminal. Like I said before, the system's gonna turn on. You're gonna select battery test and you're gonna, it's an AGM battery again. So you're gonna make sure that you select AGM. Cold cranking amps is the standards for America. So you wanna make sure that you do cold cranking amps and the cold cranking amps is 850. I already should be pre-selected. So we can hit enter on that. Now it's gonna do a test. After the test, it's gonna display the test results. And here we go, you see that? Good battery. See, it doesn't say good charge, it actually says good battery. If you look at the health, it's 100%, but the cold cranking amps is 977 cold cranking amps. The charge is 100% at 12.84 volts. The internal resistance is 2.54 ohms. This battery is rated at 850 cold cranking amps. Now you know the difference between a good battery and a battery that obviously has charging issues. The Topton BT200 battery tester has three different ways that it displays a battery's testing. Green, which is good battery. Yellow, which is good charging, but the battery's health is bad. And red, which is replace battery. This battery on my left is obviously a bad battery, but what we're gonna do is charge this battery at two amps slow to see if we can get a full charge on this battery. And then we're gonna do a test on it again. All right, guys, so we got this diehard battery charger and we're going to switch it to um, AGM. And then uh, after that, we're going to put it on 2 amp. 
all right that's a trickle charge so we have the battery here um, you see right here k5 this is the old battery and um, what we're going to do is put on the positive lead and then put on the negative lead so right now this battery is on AGM and it is on a trickle charge and it is charging at 4 amps. I'm going to let this battery charge for a full 24 hours and I will get back with you. Alright so I charged the battery up 100% and um, I did it with a trickle charge. What we're going to do is go ahead and connect the negative lead and we're going to test this battery. Okay, let's see. Battery test. It's a AGM. Crow cranking amps. And then 850 cold cranking amps. Let's see. See? There you go. So the health of this battery is 50%. The cold cranking amps is pushing out is 601 cold cranking amps. You see the charge? 100% at 12.78 volts. Let's see. The internal resistance is 4.13 ohms. And look what it says. Replace. So this battery is kaput. This battery is no good. And I just wanted to show you guys that even if you charge a battery... Um, slowly, if the battery's gone, the battery's gone. Time to put a new battery in. Alright guys, this is JOATD and I'm out.